hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel today i am so excited because we are doing a tiktok hair trend i love tiktok and i especially love seeing how creative y'all get with these hairstyles i mean y'all give me food to eat with i'm eating you know i get really excited when i see a viral hairstyle that is also able to be accommodated by our hair type i love that so I'm just working off of freshly washed hair and I am going to be using my got to be spray and then my edge booster. I told you guys in my last video this gel is the truth and I am obsessed with it. So I'm just taking my hair apart. I did it in four sections but I'm taking the back part and gelling that down first because that is going to be the part that kind of goes under the claw clip and then the front of it is going to be brushed down. So I'm just working the gel in, using my hands to kind of smooth it over and then I am going to go in with a brush afterwards just to smooth out all of the gaps and little bumpy parts. And then we're just going to secure that part and move on to the front of our head. I'm going to again separate and detangle everything. And then I'm going to make a part down the middle. I want to make sure this is even as possible. Look at my roots y'all. Y'all can see the little black growing in. Ah! I'm going to have to dye this soon. Not soon, but I'm just excited that my roots are growing in. I'm not excited, but I'm like, oh my gosh, new growth, period. And I don't know what style this is called like I don't know the actual name of it but this has been my go-to for everything lately it's the style where you basically are brushing down um, your hair on either side so it kind of looks like a slick bun but then the back of your hair you can have it in a bun or you can have it just out I really appreciate that style I think it's super cute and I'm a fan I'm a fan um, I'm just using this you don't have to do this but it does help it dry a little bit quicker and I wanted it to be super slick I didn't actually straighten my hair or anything so again Again, if you want it super super slick then you can definitely straighten your hair but I just was working off of it basically stretched out and that worked for me so I have I mean I always go back and forth I'm like I have thick hair no I have thin hair but I will say my hair as a whole is thick but towards the front it is a little bit thinner so I am making sure to just give it a little bit of extra care and attention just so it definitely doesn't look gappy or anything especially with all this new color I'm kind of having to learn how to work with it differently differently than just my natural black or dark brown hair but I'm just going in with my comb and smoothing out those edges and then I'm just wrapping my hair up so I can start on the second portion which is going to be the actual claw clip portion and adding the extra hair in now here is where I messed up and was being really stubborn I should have just followed the tutorial from the girl which the girl that I'm referring to her name is the Terra 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 Top I'm gonna put it on the screen I'm sorry if I butchered that but in her video she has a specific technique I was kind of trying to cut corners by using a ponytail that I got from the beauty supply store I just picked out one that was kind of similar to the color of my hair and I was gonna use that and then kind of flip it up I had bought three different clips different sizing just to test it out and I really was like this this is gonna work and it low-key did but the problem is is that it was so thick like it was just way too much hair like look the clip barely fit around it and then at the bottom it looks like a, I don't even know what that looks like at the bottom it just looks like a bunch of hair and it was giving from the front it was kind of cute but I also I kind of didn't like how the hair was falling but I tried to kind of fix it doing some little flyaway hairs at the bottom I just cut a little short hairs just to kind of frame my face um, but yeah I should have just followed her original tutorial from the jump but I wanted to try to be cheeky and try something different but I actually did end up doing her technique but I did want to show you guys how this one turned out it wasn't bad but I mean as you can see there's a lot of hair personally I think her technique was a lot better because it just it's less hair and it does show off the actual style of the claw clip the other style kind of swallowed the hair the hair swallowed the clip so this one you're just taking some pack hair and again this is crochet hair you're just gonna take it and loop it through a rubber band it doesn't have to be anything fancy just an elastic band and then I am gonna use a flat iron to secure them 
you're just going to put it on there for maybe five seconds six seconds and it's going to kind of mold the hair together so it sticks and then I'm going to cut the actual band in half so it opens up and then I'm going to use that to wrap around my ponytail or my bun and then you can use bobby pins to secure it into place and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the other hair where I kind of take out some hairs to frame my face that's just going to make it look a little bit more natural but you can definitely put it all up if you'd like and then I'm going to be just twisting the hair up into a little spiral and putting the clip on as you can see this is a lot less hair it still was thick hair but once I pulled everything out I feel like it looked really cute and super natural this is our finished look I think it is so cute it's a nice fun easy hairstyle and I definitely will be trying this out again shout out to the TikTok girlies for always giving us inspiration and showing us that our hair is really unmatched and can do anything if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below let's be YouTube friends and I'll see you guys in my next video bye